Hey everybody, this is Matt with Altcoin Buzz. Tonight, we're going to look at the top 100 coins in crypto. Hopefully, yours is in that list. And we're going to look at the start of mass adoption in 2018. Is this the year the cryptocurrency goes mainstream? But first, if you're new to the channel, remember, hit the subscribe button here, please, and ring this bell for notifications. So every time we drop a video on Altcoin Buzz, you get noticed and you can join up with our community here's the link to all the social media that you have and you can go on altcoinbuzz.io all right the top 100 tonight hopefully you know you can't please everybody but hopefully i'm going to please the top 100 of you because your coins will be in here but you know i don't like to look at market cap necessarily how it's always arranged on all the websites so i'm going to go with volume but do you see over here on the left hand side column we have the top 100 arranged according to market cap so I'm going to pull this open a little more on that column. And you can see these numbers change when we arrange it according to 24-hour volume. I want to know what's popping in volume for the last 24 hours. Is there a flag? And that's why I'm saying we're going to look at the top 100. Find out what is moving up the ranks. Is your coin, notice right now during this time, during these market conditions, what is happening with your coin? What is happening with these projects you're invested in? These are the ones you wanna know about. All right, look at this. Tether is market cap 17, but yet it's in the two spot on volume, 2.75 billion on volume. We're looking, take notice of how that is with the volatility too, because this is your comparison. It's supposed to be a stable coin, supposed to be basically at $1, all, one peg to the US dollar all the time. Why is there some volatility with it? Well, it does range over the top of 99 cents, and I've even at 104 shorted that thing at 103 something. And it's gone up to 104. I've seen it down as low as 98 cents in my trading time with it. Uh, Ethereum is in the three spot, 2 billion right there. So compare volume on your coins to these top ones. Uh, why do we continue to always talk about Bitcoin when you're in altcoins? Because right now, Bitcoin dominates right just a little smidge under 40% of the market. And the overall cryptocurrency volume for the last 24 hours is 18 billion. So look at how much is dominated by just these top three. Nine, almost 10, 12 billion of the 18 is wrapped up in Bitcoin, Tether, and Ethereum. Another almost 1 million in Litecoin. And so here you have a large amount in these three coins. That's why we talk about these big players. We talk about market share. Uh, moving down the list because we got to look at the, the top 100 is on this page right here. They list the top 100 on coincheckup.com. All right, going down, you guys know Ethereum Classic has been having a lot of volume lately. And we look on here, 100 million in volume for the last 24 hours. That's a lot. Take notice of the volatility compared to Bitcoin. Volatility at 18. Just last week, we saw this is down as low as 16. Uh, volatility is on the short term seven days is picking up just a little bit but take notice of it and you can look at over the course of these last 7 30 90 and 200 days what is moving so we'll look at volume and then what is that doing to the coin uh, neo again we talked about that it's moving up a little higher we have the 24-hour volume of 400 million. That's a lot, guys. But notice over here on the left when I'm doing this, these are all arranged according to market cap. And so you can see that a coin that is on market cap. So let's, let's go down here and keep scrolling down the top 100. And you can see this, that Zcash, according to market cap, is 24. But in volume today, where is it at? So you can see where the rank is uh, according to how they usually are, how people gauge these. I don't like these arranged according to market cap. I want to know what trading volume is doing today. The buyer, What are the buyers and the sellers doing today? So you can look for the big numbers being up here in this 100 list, and you can find out some unusual things. I don't know anything about this coin here, this L-U-N-Y-R. Don't know anything about them. I'm just pointing it out to tell you that usually, according to market cap, it's in the 203rd spot. But according to volume, it's up here in the top 100 today. So what is going on with that? This gives you a chance to screen things. Unusual volume, go check it out. Unusual volume on this coin, plus 
Over the last seven days, it's up 48%. I don't know why. I'm not recommending it. I don't even know about that coin. Maybe you guys do. Maybe you can type in the comments and tell everybody that you know about it and all that. And that's great. But what you can see right here is over the last 30 days, it was down 46%, but is recovered, obviously recovered half of that in that compared to that 90, uh, the, the last 90 days. In the last seven days, up 40, and the last 30, down that. So you can do your own math on there. Icon looks like on volume. It's right under it. Just scroll through here. <clears throat> scroll, scroll, excuse me, through the top 100. Find out is what is unusual compared to how these are usually ranked. Usually red coin is 75. Here it is with 60. We're getting down into the two digits on volume on the millions. 16 volume on these, a million on these. I like some volume over a couple million over in the last 24 hours. So I'm not going to spend time looking and scrolling through the 1500 altcoins and talk to you guys about you know numbers 300 through 1500 that don't have a lot of trading volume because you don't want to be trading back and forth short term even a couple weeks even a month or two if they don't have good volume and good volume in crypto is different than the stock market but i like to see a couple million in 24 hour volume so you guys can look in here again. You gotta you gotta take that column out over here if you're doing this this type of screening on your own. And you can see um, Decentraland. There's one 123rd on market cap, but as far as volume right now at six million, it puts it in the top 100. Walton Chain. You guys are in that one. Made Safe. I know some of you are. It's round about the top 100 anyway on that. But see some of these big numbers. Why is there more dollar volume in these than they're in there making them? It's making them jump up into the top 100 on volume. So I'm going to let you guys go on there. Look at this list for yourself. Find out if your coin is popping on the volume side. Good trick, good tool. Not recommended these. Not a financial advisor or giving you any advice on price. But these are the kind of things that should trigger and give you alerts as to what's going on. Uh, gosh, I'm seeing, you know, here it works the opposite way, okay? Uh, NEM is 13 on market cap, but look how far it's down on the list today in volume. It's way down on the list compared to its market cap. So the volume is dried up a little bit on NEM. I don't know. List here, oh, it's got 40 million in volume. I'm noticing that right off the bat. So again, find that check those out if you see your coin in this top 100 uh, maybe it's time for you to dive into it and find out if that volume that's going on on it is unusual for itself so let's look at um let's just pick one right here let's pick v chain you guys want to look at that it's in the 16th spot on market cap but we got good volume today obviously it's way up the list and this is a project i know a lot of you are involved with so you go here and you click 30 day gives you the daily candles. So see, I'm scrolling down here on the daily candles and I'm gonna go back to the 27th because that's a full day of volume. We haven't completed this candle yet and yet we are over on the volume from yesterday even though it's not done today. And you can see here, if I just come out and get this crosshair away from you so you can see what's going on, I'm gonna put the line right at today's volume. See that, it's stretching all the way across. So we're right there on the volume. And you can see what the trend is for volume on VeChain. So, so look at those volume spikes. You had four or five days of volume spikes, four or five days of volume spikes in here. And then you pull it out to, let's say, your last year. And you can say, is that unusual volume for VeChain? What's going on with VeChain? What's the trend? What's the overall trend? Is this uptrend or downtrend? Well, for the last year, it's definitely an uptrend. We didn't start until back in August. How's the volume compared to normal? So I'm saying right now, we have higher weekly volume on this candle that's not yet complete than we did last week. Higher volume the week before. A higher volume than three weeks ago and right at the same for four weeks ago so on average volume for the week it is up and then you go according to your time frame and you say well am i in this thing for a month or am i in it for six months 
or am I in it for a year? And you decide where you fit in into this trend and you look at your range and you find out, well, how much drawdown can I tolerate on this? Uh, what's what's V-Chain? If I'm in V-Chain, what can I tolerate my average uh, return on this for the well, here's volatility down at the bottom, but my monthly return on investment on VeChain is 174%. But what is my drawdown in one day? Can I handle this? Well, you look at the investment tab and you say, for the trailing 12 months, which is the inception of the coin because it's only been around six months, I have seen a 70% drawdown in one day. Am I okay with that? Because the maximum growth in the day, in a day, is 68%. So obviously... You need to be in this for more than a day or two or a week because you have to be able to tolerate a drawdown on this coin and, and go for a longer time frame to get to this return on investment over the long haul. You To get this 174% return on investment, you need to be in it longer. You could get into this thing without knowing anything and get drawn down 70%. The next day, go up 60%. And then you'd be cussing it because you'd be saying, oh, I didn't make any money. Well, yeah, but this thing over the course, look right here, daily re cumulative return. Don't look at that. I mean, that's on all these coins. These are astronomical because that's why it's crypto. But you'd say, why am I not making 174% on my money? It says average monthly volume, if I'm in it, for a month is 174%. So that's why. You got to be in it longer than a couple days. Okay, let's go back to the big list. And we are going to talk about some Bitcoin dominance. You need to know at 40% that you have to be aware of this dominance of Bitcoin. It's, you know, whether you like it or not, it's it's the longest in the game. It's what's in the space. And by the way, with Lightning Network going in, we have more transactions going on Bitcoin. And this is interesting. Over today... Over the last couple days, you can see there's been a lot of red, but Bitcoin is making a surge up. We're almost hitting the $11,000 mark again. Um, this is average daily volume on Bitcoin. All right, let's go to the Bitcoin chart and see what that actually means on a trend. So you want to pay attention to this no matter what you're doing. If you don't, if you're not in Bitcoin, it's fine. I, it's it's not up to me. You can be in Bitcoin or not be in Bitcoin. Maybe you're just in altcoins. You're in all these and you're thinking, oh, they're gonna they're gonna go, they're gonna go. But you gotta track this no matter what. Here you are on the three month chart, gives us daily bars. So you see as I scroll along, every bar generates one day. So we can just see what has happened to the volume in the last three months on Bitcoin. We have a bit of an uptrend on volume as Bitcoin has had a little bit of an upswing. So pull it out here. Let's see over the last six months what's going on. You guys know this. We have a bit of an uptrend since February 6th. Nothing that you guys don't know about. And volume-wise, yeah, this daily volume that's going on here is higher than it's been in its history all the way up to November. We had huge volume December and January, but this is still high average daily volume. So follow what's going on with Bitcoin to know some market direction and some places where you're headed with it. The other thing that you, why we follow Bitcoin is this, guys. So this is on the solume.io, S-O-L-U-M-E.io. Social media analyzing compared to price. Excellent site. You guys should go there and check this out because they give you social media compared to the prices and the sentiment change that's going on with social media. So I just want you to look at this real quick. Let's hit the refresh button and get some current data because uh, we just got done talking about Bitcoin dominance being 40% of the cryptocurrency market, right? So what is going on in social? Uh, in other words, what is everybody talking about out there? Well, you would think, okay, if Bitcoin dominance is 40%, then everybody on social media and all the channels ought to be talking about it. 40% and altcoin 60%, right? Hmm, interesting. Let's see if that holds a candle to this because social volume and sentiment in the last 24 hours, as they measure it, as they give it score, 18,430 hits on social media for Bitcoin. 
3,311 on Ethereum. So here you go. Let's pull a calculator. Let's do the math. Because uh, Bitcoin ought to be 40%, right? Oh, you guys, you're like, I, I, I'm done with school. I'm not going to school anymore. Why would I want to do this? 18,430. See, that comes to, oh, 18, that's 82% Bitcoin dominance on social media. Why is that, guys? If Bitcoin is 40% of the market, why does it still dominate that much? All right, so you say, uh, let's take let's take all of, and that's just Ethereum. So I just took, it, Bitcoin is talked about 82% more of the time than Ethereum on that. Go on this site. Do your own homework and look at these numbers and compare them to Bitcoin and find out what's going on. I know some of you guys may not like this because you, you love these projects like you love your sports teams, but uh, you have to be aware of this. You have to say, well, how's the sentiment on Bitcoin and how many hits and compare that to, man, I'm going to get hate mail on this. How about Tron? Well, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing against Tron. But Tron is talked about 650 times compared to Bitcoin being talked about 18,400 times. So you got to know that. You got to know that. But yet this is a good site to see what is picking up. What this site is for, guys, for you out there with your coins, this is the top how many on this front page. Hey, here'd be a good project for somebody. Take the top 100 on volume of the day that I showed you on Coin Checkup. And write a script and do a cross-reference with the top 100 of the Solume site and find out what's popping compared to social media. Ah, you're some smart people out there. Go do it. Somebody write that script. Somebody do that. Take that feed. Take those APIs and do that. You have to take the API from Coin Checkup. I'm sorry, from Coin Market Cap and probably Crypto Compare and run a cross table on that and see what you can do. Hey, something that catches my eye here. Look at this. A 392% positive change on civic oh you guys you know things are being talked about on social media volume change in the last 24 hours so you go down through here and look at the triple digits see if we can find any triple digits a r n don't know about that you guys might know about that type in the comments might be your favorite one bancor look at this a 471 percent social media volume change 240 so that usually that usually doesn't have that much social vital. What's going on here? Bancor. And then the trick is you go here and you find out. Well, what's going on on the volume on that? Let's go look up Bancor. What's going on on my short-term volume trend? Is this popping for some reason? Is there some news? Is there something going on that I need to know about? Are you in this? Are you not in Bancor? I know you want us to talk about coins. I don't see a and a, a, a noticeable volume spike. We've had a lot more volume spikes on Bancor in the last period of time. So let's go on the event tab and find out if they got anything coming up. Why is there a big social media change? Ah, on the event tab. There it is, guys. This data is nicely arranged from coinmarketcal.com on the Coin Checkup site. And you guys can see that there's a virtual blockchain summit where the co-founder and chief product architect of Bancor is one of the speakers on march 1st so here you guys can that's when the summit starts tomorrow some of you as this drops that's for today for you that's today so look at the social media change that's why you got a lot of people talking about it because they're probably going to that conference so these are clues and alerts for you guys to jump into this stuff Man, good stuff. Good tool. Somebody cross-reference that, write a script. I told you about this before. Uh, it'll show some some top trending tweets up at the top. So you could roll through this and find out, hey, is yours in here? Uh, Civic's popping. That Aaron, um, you can check it out. It's the first pilot log entries on the Ethereum blockchain, recording full enabled Aaron apps. All right. Neblio. Hey, there's that one. L-U-N-Y-R. Hmm. Why are they talking about that? You guys saw the volume change on that, remember, from the top list I showed you. So go check that project out. You want to? Let's check that out. See what's happening right now with that. We had a we had a change on it, so 
Let's see what they're doing. I don't know anything about this. I'm not invested in this. Um, so I want to know. This is my process. If I saw that on some sort of alert, I'd want to know why it's popping. Am I in an uptrend or downtrend? Looks like short-term little uptrend I'm in. It looks like it's been flat for three months, but yet up from three months ago. So how's the volume doing? Look, I got a little volume spike today. Day's not complete yet. So yesterday, look at this. Triple the volume from yesterday. That's closed candle. This hasn't even closed yet. That's that's the 28th. So we're already triple the volume today from that with a short-term uptrend with a little tick on that. What is this project? Hmm. How long has it been around? 10 months. What's the maximum drawdown? 36%. And the maximum growth in a day, 191%. That's a good risk to reward right there, guys. What's going on with this? What is happening with them and why? Contribution points, withdrawal token from contribution will be possible on 1st of March. So check it out. Is this event driving news and things? So you guys can find out what does that mean to this project. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Besides Solium.io, what are we going to talk about to end this thing? Mass adoption in 2018. There were three things on my radar to talk to you guys about real quick at the end of this video. And it all has to do with cryptocurrency being mass adopted in 2018. Now, before you guys, well, it's not my project. It's not the coin I'm in. It's not this. As blockchain gets adopted across all platforms, cryptocurrency, all boats are going to rise. As more uh, trust, I'm doing air quotes because we know blockchain really doesn't require trust. We know that. You guys know that. The altcoin buzz crew out there. But people out there who aren't into this, they haven't been on-ramped, they don't know that. So... So as blockchain becomes more mainstream in the eyes of the public, your projects are going to rise. So three of them. Uh, first, the Robinhood app. Oh, yeah. By the way, this week, I got to onboard my 64-year-old dad to the Robinhood app into crypto, into buying Bitcoin and Ethereum because it enabled in his state and he got to get to get on there and do it. Uh, there's 1.4 million people on the waiting list, guys, for Robinhood. So we talked about it weeks ago at Altcoin Buzz. It was on the podcast and it's happening. I actually got to do it. So I'm going to ask you guys out in the Altcoin Buzz army, are you on-ramping people every day? If you on-ramp more people and all you guys in the comments, I want to know, are you on-ramping uh, your dad? Are you on-ramping people into crypto, getting them involved in the space a good easy way to do it might be Robinhood, might be one of the other apps. Maybe help them open a Coinbase wallet, open a Jack's wallet, send them some crypto, uh, send them whatever you have and get them involved because once they have an investment in it, they're going to start studying and look. All right, here's another way. This was reported on Coindesk, so you guys might have seen this already. But Howard Schultz, uh, the CEO of uh, Starbucks, on Fox Business said this, and here's the report from Fox Business. During the earnings call, Howard Schultz said Bitcoin would not be the currency that they're using, but they're going to use another trusted, legitimate digital currency off the blockchain technology that could take its place. These cryptocurrencies, Schultz said, would have to be legitimized by a brick and mortar establishment where the customer has trust and confidence in a company that's providing the transaction. I think blockchain technology is probably the rails in which an integrated app at Starbucks will be sitting on top of, the, the former CEO of the coffee giant said. Now, yeah, you know Harold Schultz, former CEO. He's the founder of Starbucks. Uh, so whether they get into one of the other coins or not and on their app or they build their own blockchain, what we're talking about here is mass adoption of blockchain across the spectrum. Does the general public realize that this technology, not here to stay, if Howard Schultz is talking about it, they're going to put it on their app. They're talking about it on their earnings call. Mass adoption is coming, folks. Things like the Robin Hood, things like Starbucks, talking about it on their earnings call. And 
The biggie that I don't know why everybody is not shouting from the rooftops about this. This is number three. This is the one you really need to know about, guys. Circle. Circle's been around a long time. You know about them. You can go on who they are. They say on their uh, page they're on a mission to change the global economy with being able to send payments from person to person. Really easy. On-ramping people really is easy into digital currency. And you know up for a while, I think from 14, everybody can correct me on that, it's fine, I don't care. 2014, they've been putting people on and they were very, very involved with Bitcoin all the way up till I think last year. But lo and behold, well, let's look at this real quick. They announced something yesterday and it just seems like it's been glossed over. And I don't, I don't know why, because this is huge for the space. In Fortune Magazine, they talked about these guys and this deal. Well, here, let's just go back to this. You know, you know what they did, right? Circle being backed by $140 million in venture capital bought Poloniex for $400 million. The Fortune article, which I'll put in the notes, you can reference this, you can look at, the big cryptocurrency acquisition could create a Wall Street style financial giant. Circle has already been big, already backed by 140 million in VC money. They've already been in the space. And oh, by the way, you know what they said back here in let's pull up the article so you guys can see it. And I'll ref, I'll reference all this so you can get it. But the Circle Financial CEO said in August of 12, that we trade over $1 billion in crypto per month. Now, you got to put this in perspective, guys. Go back to our chart here and look at, look at what was happening August 12th. So we're just going to go back to the big chart. Just go to your main page here on Bitcoin because you know what the dominance was back then, right? You guys all know this. You studied this out. You looked at it. You got this down. Let's go to the yearly chart. What did 1 billion in crypto trades a month look like on August 12th? Hmm, not what it looks like today. So here's your yearly chart. All right, let's go to August 12th. July, August, there's 14. There's the week of August 7th to August 14th. So see this week right here? Look at the volume of crypto down on the bottom on your candles. You see that? And you have price and market cap of Bitcoin on top. So you see my crosshairs up there? 69, right under 70 billion of market cap on Bitcoin. So if in August, early August of 2017, Circle was trading 1 billion of crypto every day, that was 1 billion out of the 70 billion market cap. So you have to put this in perspective. Do you see this daily volume now where we're at today? So if that volume that week, not daily, weekly volume, we're looking at a weekly chart here. So you see this weekly volume candle? Look what it is compared to today. So if you had in August, July, August right there, there's my candle. If I had... 1.92 billion on the volume on the week. They were trading a billion a day in volume. Wow. In crypto, in all of crypto, right? Look what's going on today. Look at the volume. Check that out compared to we are two to three times the weekly volume change if they light this up and now they just announced poloniex welcome welcome poloniex we just bought you poloniex was the first exchange to reach 1 billion in daily volume and they're going to continue to boost it they bought it for 400 million circle this is from circle's website go straight to the source straight to the people and they talk about what they're going to do to it how they're going to grow it and what's going to happen. And look at this. Who are they backed by? Hmm. Hmm. Investors including... 
Goldman Sachs. Wait a minute. You guys were reading all kinds of negative stuff this week about Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs said this. Goldman Sachs said that. Oh, here's an article. Bitcoin and Ether are both bubbles, says Goldman Investment Chief. So what's going on here, guys? The investment chief for Goldman Sachs Private Wealth Group said cryptos and ethers in a bubble. This isn't a, a news article from December. This isn't from January. This isn't from correction. This is from today. So Goldman says it's in a bubble, and yet look who's an investor of Circle who just bought Poloniex. <laughs> Guys, it's just what I told you about Bank of America. Blockchain is winning. Mass adoption is coming this year. Goldman's talking out both sides of their mouth because they're an investor in this big time. Here's the article on CNBC. Check this out for yourself on CNBC. Circle acquisition of Poloniex is just the beginning of likely consolidation in crypto. You got quotes from Eric Voorhees, who from Shapeshift. You guys know about that. And the founders talk about this. But look at this chart. This is a good one, guys. This is all about mass adoption. This is what I'm talking about. This should make you happy. This should make you thrilled to be in cryptocurrency at this time. Look at 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17 on these charts compared to where we're already at in 2018 year to date. The dark blue is early stage investment. The light blue is corporate venture. Look at this where we're at already. We're already not even two months into this year. And we're already over half of what we were. We've already matched 2016 on that. And the investment into crypto, venture capital is an early stage, put in 1.06 in 2017. We're already on track. You guys can look up Les uh, Sokolin and Autonomous.net. I told you to do that before and track those guys. And, and for the year so far, we're already $323 million in crypto. We're on track to go over in 2018. You guys know it. Why is Circle buying Poloniex? Are they going to resume their pace of what they were doing? Look at their website. Look at the news articles. Look at their volume and what they're doing. And then check out this article on Fortune because they go into depth about the background of Circle and this deal that's going through on Poloniex and how it's going to affect things. Guys, is this going to be a point of on-ramping and mass adoption for all of crypto this year? I think so. Look at this. Look at this chart on the Fortune article where the crypto sharks swim. This data is from January 30th. This is old news in crypto at this point. But look at these. Look at this data on all the exchanges. Look at what Circle's doing with Poloniex. Look at what they've already done and find out where this thing is going. Now, I'm not telling you to invest in this company. I'm not telling you anything. What I'm saying is mass adoption is happening and these things are evidence for that. All right, you guys know where to find me. Go to Steam It. Please go to Steam It. And I spend a lot of time on there. Every one of the things we do on Altcoin Buzz, not just videos, but podcasts are all on Steam It as well. And the Altcoin Buzz ladies and... Yep, yeah, you can find me on Twitter. I'm not as active on it as I am on Steemit, but I, I do post some, and I'm CryptoTradeMatt on Twitter. Thanks for joining me tonight. See you next time, guys. Thank you.